Johnson, along with uh, Shannon Martin, has uh, helped out with this, and we have a couple of performers uh, that are going to uh, uh, give us a treat uh, this morning. Uh, we had uh, Ben Hinman help on the uh, design of this uh, student memorial guitar, and we also had Bill Wise from uh, Karis Acoustics. Uh, who helped build this guitar, but uh, one of our uh, brothers uh, that comes uh, from uh, the uh, Ann Arbor area and uh, no stranger to Indian country, uh, he's uh, done a lot of uh, great uh, work in uh, performing uh, for our people in our native community. Uh, we're going to ask Brother uh, Joe Riley uh, to come forward uh, to go ahead and to uh, give us uh, a uh, example of uh, this uh, guitar uh, that was uh, given by the students. And then we're going to ask uh, one of uh, our community members, uh, Ellie Van Horn, uh, to go ahead and to uh, gift us uh, with a song also. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, get uh, Brother Joe uh, to come forward and to uh, go ahead and to uh, give us a song. Uh, at this time, uh, I'd like to ask uh, Willie Johnson to come forward. He can give us a little bit more information uh, on this uh, gift uh, of the uh, student guitar. Sure. And at this time, I'll uh, turn it over to Willie Johnson and Shannon Mark. Uh, if we could um, uh, make our way into the tent, uh, we have a very, very special dedication that we're going to uh, present to the people. Our uh, Zeboying Center and Zeboying Cultural Society Board of Directors oftentimes uh, has a vision and gives us the direction and the approval uh, to add to our uh, tribal collection uh, something that may not be present or not, may not be represented within this collection. And uh, through a, a uh, CMU intern uh, that came to us over a year ago, uh, discussions began between the intern and Willie, who was uh, this intern's direct uh, supervisor. And through those discussions and the vision of healing and remembering and honoring, uh, came an opportunity uh, for the z -Wing Center to play a central role in not only um, providing uh, an instrument uh, for healing, but the uh, inspiration coming from our, our tribal community as well and direction from our board. So I wanna uh, turn this over to our curator, William Johnson, who's been working uh, over a year uh, to, to help make this, this happen uh, for this community and communities across the Great Lakes. So, Willie. Well, I would love to be able to uh, lay claim that uh, I built this guitar, uh, but I didn't. Um, and we would like to acknowledge Rachel Wise, who actually had a hand in the creation of this guitar. Uh, Rachel came to us from Central Michigan University. Uh, she was an intern at the Zebo Wing Center. And unfortunately, she's not with us today, but her father is here. And if we could call Mr. Bill Wise to the stage, uh, we would love to be able to uh, pass the guitar from Karis Acoustics uh, to the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe of Michigan. And it is our, our just our most uh, utmost honor to be able to work on this tangible expression of our love for the Mount Pleasant Indian Industrial Boarding School students. And uh, Mr. Wise is here. And, uh, we can have him pull the guitar out of the case since he built it. And we need a representative uh, to, how about Mr. Ben Hinman? Ben uh, did the design uh, on the back of the guitar. And if Ben could come up and accept this uh, uh, acoustic guitar on behalf of our tribe, it would be our great honor. Ben? Man, I love more people. Oh, man, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. 
I just wanted to uh, express my gratitude to Zebowing for, you know, they're always thinking ahead and, you know, thinking about the future of uh, our tribe, our tribal nation, our children. And, uh, you know, we do a lot of work. I work with the Seven Generation Program for the tribe. And it's always an honor to work with these guys. And they do such incredible work. Uh, it was a great honor to help design uh, the, the design that went on the back of this, uh, this guitar. And to me, you know, I'm, uh, I went to, attended the uh, Holy Childhood Indian Boarding School along with several of my family members. And so I was there, you know, and this, this design really represents those children and how they clung to each other to get through that time. You know, all we had was each other during those periods. And it's important, I think, that we preserve one of those moments um, and, and that difficult time that all of us went through at boarding school. And so it was a great honor. Miigwech. Ben is going to bring the guitar around so everybody can take a look. Uh, it, it's an amazingly beautiful instrument. Uh, we're indebted to our master craftsman, Mr. Bill Weiss, for building it on our behalf. Uh, as you may know, the uh, Mount Pleasant Indian Industrial Boarding School is honoring, healing, and remembering event. Uh, the, the artwork that you're looking at right now was showcased on our first t-shirts. Uh, ben, out of the goodness of his own heart, uh, offered to create that artwork for us. And as a former boarding school student, he definitely knows what honoring, healing, and remembering is all about. Uh, we would like to let everybody know that the guitar features the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe of Michigan's tribal logo. It, it also features the Zebra Wing Center of Anishinaabe Culture and Lifeways uh, a logo. It also features on the fretboard uh, woodland floral designs of the enduring spirit of our people exhibit. And around the sound hole you will see honoring, healing, and remembering in our Anishinaabe Mowin. So if Bill would like to say just a few brief words, uh, Bill, where'd you go? Yeah, just a couple of little words so everybody can, uh, yes, oh yes. And, and just uh, also we would like to let you know, Shannon had a really great idea and she said, why not make the, uh, the actual guitar tuners um, replicas of the U.S. Indian service buttons that, were, that graced the, the boarding school students' uniforms. So um, the, the little tuning machines that uh, are used to uh, put the guitar in tune are replicas of the um, uh, uniform buttons. So there's a lot of amazing detail that went into this guitar. And uh, we have to, uh, Bill said he doesn't really like talking, and, um, but I'm gonna try to at least get him up here to say a few little things about the creation of the guitar. And we just wanna let everybody know that this is not a permanent collection piece as such, but the guitar will be used for healing throughout our community and other tribal communities uh, as we celebrate um, uh, all kinds of beautiful events within the, the tribe. And uh, hopefully we'll see it at the interdenominational service during Christmas time and hopefully they'll pull it out uh, on Easter too. So here's Mr. Wise, this is Mr. Bill Wise. Uh, once again, Rachel Wise is his daughter. She worked on the guitar too, a former uh, CRM intern from CMU. And he is here today, and uh, let's let everybody uh, uh, feel his uh, feel your kindness and, and give him a big hand. This is, he built this for us. Thank you, Willie. It was really a, a privilege and an honor to be asked to do something like this. Um, not. Uh, having any real idea what I was getting into. It was fun to watch my daughter Rachel and Willie scheme to come up with the ideas and to come up with the, uh, to help come up with the art that went in it. Um, I am disappointed that my daughter wasn't here uh, because she did a lot of the work on all the inlay that you're seeing there. So uh, anyway, I, I, it's my prayer that it will be used in a way that is honoring, healing, and remembering by various groups of the community. And uh, just thank you for the opportunity to be able to do this. We, we, were, we were all contemplating who should uh, play the guitar first. 
And uh, the Anishinaabe Kwe in our group thought it should be a Anishinaabe Kwe. <laughs> How dare you think otherwise? <laughs> and so I made a, a phone call uh, at uh, Shannon Martin, our, our Zeep Wing Center director's um, uh, nodding. You know, she said, Willie, you should call uh, Ellie Van Horn and the Hilltop Singers, and, and maybe they would perform a song for us on the guitar. The very first song. So, Ellie, you're on. Here she comes. And uh, we want to let everyone know she's a part of the In Stitches quilting group as well. And we're going to unveil the Mount Pleasant Indian Industrial Boarding School commemorative quilt at 1 o'clock. And, of course, Sarah and Ellie and Colleen and Becky and Elizabeth and who am I forgetting? Roger uh, built, uh, built this lovely quilt. <laughs> so we can't wait for you to see that. But um, Ellie's here and she's going to perform Amazing Grace in a Nishinaabe moment. Good morning, everybody. It's good to be here. I was really honored. I was on, uh, on a vacation on a cruise in the Caribbean's and uh, when I got a call from Willie, he'd asked me before, but it, then he called me again and asked me if I would sing and uh, play this beautiful guitar. I told him I'd be very honored.
Bonjour. My name is Joe Riley. I'm real happy to be here uh, to be part of this and to be able to play this beautiful guitar, um, to sing a song for healing, to be part of this, uh, this gathering uh, and this recognition of, of healing that's happening here. Um, I am a, a proud member of our urban uh, Indian community in Detroit, and um, we also have had uh, healing walks in Detroit. And um, this song came from one of those walks, but I'd like to sing it uh, in honor of the, the, the healing of the, um, the people here who attended this boarding school. To let them know, to let their spirits know that we are still walking with them.
So um, this is a really beautiful guitar. I mean, it looks beautiful. It sounds beautiful. It feels good. I'm going to do a thank you song. Thank you for fathers and mothers. Thank you for sisters and brothers. For sons and for daughters. For the earth and the water. Thank you for bright days and dark nights for death and for new life in each breath you renew life it's you who renews life and in these times when pain does rise and I self-criticize demoralize, overanalyze angel spirits wise help to turn my eyes to the skies the sun still shines they remind even when it resides behind clouds and hides and each day tides are pulled by the moon and tonight the moon is full and bright my gaze is on its light reflecting on snow so white falling from an atmospheric height an ancient sacred right of water wind and light and all I know is to walk out below the stars and show the ancestors who flow through me that I can be free that I can be free thank you for fathers and mothers thank you for sisters and brothers sons and for daughters, for the earth and the water, thank you for bright days and dark nights, for death and for new life, it's you who renews life, in each breath we renew.
Grazie mille, grazie. Oh, let's hear it again for our native performer, Joe Riley. Uh, if you ever get a chance to see Joe perform, you should hear him play the cedar flute, too. It's a, it's a wonderful experience. And, uh, and let's also hear a hand for Ellie Van Horn. All right. Ellie does a lot of our uh, singing at uh, Faith Indian Nazarene Church, and it's always good to go ahead and to uh, hear our Ojibwe language hymns uh, at events like this. Uh, well, we've had the healing from the running, and we've had the healing from the music, uh, we've had healing from prayer, and now it's that time to get a little nourishment, uh, which is uh, also a part of healing. And at this time,